Ladies and gentlemen, it's your boy Rico back at it again, ready to hit you with a new video on five players that will have something to prove this offseason. Something to prove this season. Who do you think it is? I'm about to tell y'all. Stay tuned. It's coming right up this second. Let's go. <laughs> Number five, number five, that is Ray Ray McLeod. Ray Ray McLeod, my guy with the afro that came through this offseason with a late round draft pick coming in, expected to do a few things here and there, like, you know, like Roscoe Parrish from back in the day. Jeff Sweet here, return here, kick return there, you know what I mean? Screen pass here. It didn't quite work out the way we wanted it to. And I know Ray Ray thought the same. What makes matters worse is we brought in McKenzie. Isaiah McKenzie came in. Same stature, same type of speed, same type of player. And McKenzie blew everything out the water. He was actually an impressive receiver. And now what does that do for Ray Ray? That is the challenge for my guy Ray. So Ray, if you're watching this, you've got a lot to prove to us. You've got a lot to prove to the organization and I really hope it works out but right now it's a numbers game and if you don't step your game up you might see yourself going to the left to the left <laughs> and that's out the door and I really hope that's not the case but guess what this is a game of production and if you don't produce you produce somewhere else and that's just what it is so that's number five Ray Ray McLeod number four Trent Murphy Trent Murphy came in from the Redskins, had a big year the year before he blew his knee out. Nine sacks, over 35 tackles was the man until he blew his knee out. Now, Bean is the type of guy that likes to take chances on players that once were, you know I mean, one of the highest graded type of players, something happened and then they decreased some way, some, some way, somehow. And we take a chance, and we did. We took a chance on Trent Murphy, brought him to Buffalo, three years, 21 million, however, we have a clause to get out of that contract. Now, Shaq Lawson is also a player that we don't know what's happening. Is he going to be given that fifth? Is he going to be allowed to walk? That's where Trent Murphy comes in. If we do those things and we let Sha Shaq Lawson walk, Trent Murphy, you've got a lot to prove. Those four sacks you had last year ain't enough. It's not cutting it. We need pass rush. And if we don't get it from you, we're going to get it in the draft. So I hope Trent Murphy comes in and gives us what he gave the Redskins back in the day. So Trent Murphy, you are my number four player that has something to prove this year. Number three, number three, you already know Deion Dawkins. Deion Dawkins was graded 69.5 on PFF O-line grade. Now. Dion is a good player. He had a solid rookie year, 6'5", 325 pounds. That's a big boy for left tackle. Now, could he move inside? That's a whole nother ball game. So we're grading him as a left tackle. He's gonna have a lot to prove. He knows he didn't have a great year. He knows he needs to step his game up this year. And I believe he will. Will it be at left tackle? Will it be at inside, at guard? We don't know. But when you're graded at an above average lineman, for us and at left tackle for me i need you to be at least a high quality left tackle high quality left tackle is what we need to protect the blind side of josh allen because he is the franchise and you gotta protect him the more time you give him the more success we have so Dion dawkins we got a lot to prove baby and we've got to do it this year this year is the year so that is my number three player that has something to prove this year number two Harrison Phillips. Harrison Phillips has got big shoes to fill. Kyle Williams has retired. A beautiful career in Buffalo. Stand-up guy. You had one year with one of the best guys you'll ever have a chance to play with in Kyle Williams. Now, this is the year Harrison Phillips takes a step forward. Zero sacks all of last year. Yes, he was in a limited role. However, this doesn't tell me anything that he can't do. He is able. And with the ability to have time with Starla Tulele, he's got time, he had time with Jordan Phillips and Kyle Williams. I expect a big year from, 
I expect a big year from Harrison Phillips and I know that he feels he's got a lot to prove because those are big shoes to fill from Kyle Williams. Look for Harrison Phillips <laughs> to have a little pressure on him. But you know what? Sometimes pressure busts pipes and that's exactly what's going to happen this year. I think he busts out and has a big year. Harrison Phillips, my number two player that has something to prove this year. Number one, LaShawn McCoy. We all know, we all know, 31 years of age, $9 million cap hit against the books. But guess what? Manager said, we need to bring him back. He's part of our 2019 plan. Fine, but let's keep it real and let's keep it a buck. The stats show that he's been declining the last two years. You mean the striving for 10,000, striving for 12,000, the goals are wonderful. But there are some factors that have allowed Mr. McCoy to not have such a great year. Age could be one. Lack of talent on the whole line is another. Legal issues off the field is another. There's a lot of things that can factor into a decline into a player. So if he is truly part of our 2019 plans, I expect LaShawn McCoy to really dig down and prove something that he's still got it. And I think he does. He's the number four highest paid running back in the league. I am sure of it. Management is looking at that. So they've got a decision to make. Do we keep LaShawn? Is he ready to ready to really take the reins and go back to the old LaShawn? Or are we saying bye-bye? I don't know. And I really hope as a as a former running back, you know what I mean? I have love for running backs, and I really hope LaShawn McCoy is the guy that comes back and really gives us that 16, 1700 yard season. Am I asking for too much? Maybe. But that's what we need. Age is nothing but a number, man. I'm just saying. So those are the five players I feel that need to step up. And I got one more. This is just for the hell of it. Six, number six, management, coaching staff. And I'll tell you why. Last year you came in, Mr. McDermott, Mr. Bean, you brought us to the playoffs, man. You broke the drought. You know what I mean? We, we did it. No more everybody making fun of us that we are the longest tenured franchise to never make the playoffs. We made it. You gave us hope. You know what I mean? Playoff caliber. Let's fast forward. We get a rookie quarterback. We expect a decline, and we did. But now, we've got money in the bank, franchise quarterback, and we have the ability to, to have picks. We have a lot of picks. The, now the world is yours. You get to do what you need to do. Bring in the talent. Let's get back to the playoffs because we're all watching. We're all watching on what you do. Am I wrong? Hey, y'all let me know. Listen, if you like this video, y'all know what to do comment y'all like this video let's try to get this video to 5,000 views you know what double that let's get it to 10,000 views and let's make it happen and no if you guys aren't joining us on the discord chat jump in the discord chat all the links are at the bottom of this video join us we chat from what do you use when you eat your wings ranch or blue cheese i don't really know i just eat my wings i don't get it but it is what it is from who's going to step up this year everything is in that chat join us on the discord chat ladies and gentlemen who's stepping up this year y'all let me know in the comment ish your boy and i'm gone